welcome to Books and Things. Uh, today is a good day. I have my friend Mary, Mayor Marion on today, but it's also the last time that she's going to be on as mayor. That's right. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate what you've done well, for us, and congratulations. Thanks, and thanks Tom. For Thank you here. very much, and thanks for having me on. Oh, it's been a pleasure. You know, and I, we were just talking about the first time was in, in 13. I mean, my Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I became mayor in 2011. Yeah, so time flies. It does. Well, Ashley, uh, Frank had said, call a mayor of city because she's very friendly. She'll come on, I heard. <laughs> and, and you did. But uh, do you know what you're going to do? So I'm still going to be active with some of the things I'm active uh, uh -huh. with now. I'll still be um, involved with the Thames River Heritage Park Foundation, okay. um, which is also is responsible for the water taxi that we have. Right. So I'll right. still be active on that board. Um, I'll still be active on the board of the USS Groton Sale Foundation, which is trying to establish the sale or the conning tower of the USS Groton as a public monument for the yep for the men and women who build design and serve on submarines so that will be um, that that'll take those two will take some of my time and I'm on the board for United Way so um, I, wow. I, I have the entire week booked for the week <laughs> that I'm actually that I actually leave office so I don't think I'm going to be uh, sitting around doing nothing you're not getting, you're not getting time off <laughs> <laughs> no, but I won't have to do a budget again. <laughs> no, that's true. And you don't have to yell at, listen to everybody yelling. <laughs> <laughs> right. No matter what you do, it's wrong. <laughs> well, I, I can't say that. You know, certainly there are, you know, there are two sides to every story, and, and sometimes you have to explain the other side of the story. Yeah. But a lot of people have been really very excited about some of the things we've been able to do, and yeah. I, I do get a lot of positive feedback as well. So tell me something about your accolades that went on that you've done in the last six years well i'll tell you you know just recently we um we have we have passed the funding that's necessary for the water treatment plant oh. um, and before i leave office i will probably be able to sign the contract um, with the company that will do the water treatment plant Great. so you know when i got here in 2011 one of the first things we started to do was to put together, you know, bonding for some long-term projects yeah. and included in that was the engineering for that water treatment plant. So right. it's there's a nice piece of symmetry to it that, you know, the engineering started when I came into office and I will get to sign the contract when I leave. That's but it gives good. you an idea of how long it takes to get things through. Yeah. But I'm I'm really excited about that. <laughs> you know, um, the, the, the staff at the water treatment plant did such a fabulous job of working with the engineers to make sure that the the program was cost efficient, that the upgrades will be will provide the best water quality possible, and then they promoted it. They gave their own time and energy to promoting that. So huh. that's really a nice a nice project cool. to uh, have and, underway. And you were very instrumental with the submarine base hundred hundredth anniversary. Loved that. I absolutely yeah. loved being part of that. The, you know, we've always had a really good relationship with the submarine base and with Electric Boat. You know, they're both very yeah. important to us. But it was such a <coughs> fabulous year of celebrating yeah. who we are as a community and how proud we are uh, to be the submarine capital of the world. I loved that year. Yeah, loved that was it. good because there was stuff going on all year long. All year long. <laughs> you know, we, we recently kind of tallied up uh, how much happened, and we had 92 separate events for wow. Submarine Century. And um, most of that was free to the public. Yeah, oh, yeah. And um, 43 of them were designed just for Submarine Century. You know, when we started it, we thought, well, maybe people will dedicate their parade to Submarine Century. Something... Yeah. Events that are already happening and somehow, you know, put a submarine flavor on it. Sure. But no, we had 43 separate events um, created just for Submarine Century. And we raised $74,000 oh. for the USS Groton Sale Foundation. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I hope they get that. Yeah. That, that, obviously, the Groton belongs here. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, um, there's just so much pride in being the submarine capital of the world yeah. that to have, the, you know, the sale of the Groton here would be really wonderful. Yeah, I recently, I, the submarine school, each class has a, is named after a boat. So they recently had the class that was named after the USS Groton. 
<laughs> so I went and gave their graduation speech. And in order to do that, I did some, you know, digging in the background. Yeah. I can't tell them anything about submarines. That's their field yeah. of expertise. But I was able to look into the history of, you know, how it was named the USS Groton. And yeah. it, was, it was a fascinating story. And it was really... Uh, kind of a love story between a community and its mm -hmm. and its submarine you yeah. know industry so that it was really nice <coughs> wow now you you've you've done a good job and uh, and I did read the notes and I left them home and I <laughs> trying to remember now what it was uh, and it's, it's, you you had a problem with the uh, Thames Valley yeah yeah you, you know I that got that, rid of that. <laughs> that well you know that continues to be controversial but I can assure you that not having the responsibility for that company anymore was um, yeah. was a lifesaver for the city. Oh yeah, um, it was, and it was a tough situation because. And I'm really glad the company still exists because yeah. it employs local people. Mm -hmm. It gives an option to local people for their cable and internet service yeah. and, and, and telephones too. But you know, it it wasn't um, it wasn't working for us as yeah. a, as a municipality, and it was losing money. And, you know, to be very honest with you, um, I consider that a success Yeah. because it really returned financial stability where there was some uncertainty yeah. and we have just become more and more stable. And that that's good, good news for not only for the city, but for the region, yeah. you know, to have a healthy city, a healthy municipality is yeah. good for the region. And like you said, it's still in existence. Yeah. And still going to different places. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and I, I noticed the other day that uh, they put a thing on there and said, we will not be carrying yes <laughs> this year. Yeah, well, I, you know, I really am not involved and, in any of their decision making, but. Well, I was happy because Comcast did without it last year. Oh. <laughs> and I'm a Yankee fan. <laughs> and I had to go a whole year without watching Yankees. <laughs> and now, now Thames Valley is not gonna watch it for yeah, a year. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It's probably some kind of contractual, yeah, money. <laughs> relationship yep. but um yeah i i i have since we sold the company i've had nothing to do with any of their yeah. business yeah. interactions no so. i just brought that up because yeah. i I, I'm, kind of I'm still a thames valley communications customer but yeah. i i don't watch sports so <laughs> and of course we broadcast on it yeah oh yeah of course you get to see, you get to see marion on channel 12 <laughs> <laughs> tonight <laughs> at yeah. nine o'clock great the uh but you've done you've done it well and and I'm honest, honest to God, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about you. <laughs> Maybe You're I'm talking to the wrong people. Right people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done what you wanted. Yeah, um, you know, when I when I came in, I when I thought of running, I said, well, I'll I'd like to give it six years. You know, that in any cycle, you know, your first two years is really a, a learning curve. Yeah. Um, and and then you get to really start things that are important, and maybe some of those would be completed. And I'm pleased with the things that are completed. Yeah. Um, you know, when I came in, that was um, the beginning of the reconstruction of Thames Street. Oh, yeah. So that was um, big for us to get that reconstructed. We're now, um, the city is now developing a piece of property that we own along Thames Street. We've recently applied for um, a grant to rebuild a pier that's d down on our waterfront property, mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna be able to have that available for passive recreation, and not the pier, but the the piece of land available for passive recreation, yeah. you know, um, picnic benches, things like that, you know, so people can go down by the water and have their lunch. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's good, and we're also looking at the development of Thames Street, and some projects are underway there. So, you know, there's some, there's just, it, I have a good sense of movement and progress, and that's that feels yeah. good. Now, is is the uh, Griswold open again? The monument, Fort Where's, Griswold. Yeah. So that's uh, that's always open in the summer, from Memorial Day to I Labor Day. They, I thought that was closed for a while because of money. Uh, no, the, the, so they're <coughs> open from Wednesday to Sunday, um, from I think nine in the morning till five in the afternoon. I they so I think what they're doing. Um, they have a, a, a fabulous uh, director, Henry Alves, who works with uh, several, Fort Trumbull, Fort Griswold, Bluff Point. Um, but he, he made the decision, you know, even with tough budget cuts, to have somebody there who would, who would alternately have the house open and the monument, the house and the monument. Okay. So in, in, you know, close <coughs> enough, 
uh, yeah. shifts, so to speak, so that you could visit the house and then go in the monument or vice versa. Yeah. Um, so that's really good. And, you know, this summer they're going to have um, a new kind of phone-based tour. So because they've always lacked the interpretation to be yeah. able to tell people what it's all about. So you can call a number and, you know, poke the number for what station you're at, and they'll tell you what you're seeing and oh, what yeah. the importance of it is. And well, that's, that's a really nice, yeah. nice addition. Yeah. You know, I've never been in there. I've been on the grounds. Oh, you have to go. Yeah, but I can't climb those stairs. <laughs> no, you know, I, my, my years of climbing the monument are done, too. I have been up there. Um, but even to see the monument house, you know, yeah. the, it's it's amazing some of the things that they have in there. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I love the stories of Mother Bailey and Anna Warner Bailey, who the DAR chapter is named after. But they actually have some of her belongings there. That's fascinating to me. That is fascinating. It is. It's really great. Uh, you wonder, where do these people dig this stuff up from? <laughs> I think, you know, that monument house was actually built by um, Dorothy Slocum, or she, I, um, she was instrumental in turning it into more of a monument house than just a gatekeeper's place. And, um, and it was built early enough that I th there were people who still had some of these belongings yeah. and were able to, to give them, you know. And yeah. So, yeah, there are things that... Mother huh. Bailey owned. That's really cool to me. Wow. That is neat. I've got to go in there. I haven't. I've never been in there. I've been on the grounds, and that's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Are they still using that property to watch the fireworks? Oh yeah. 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 In fact, Groton Utilities, you know, the municipal utility that that the city owns, um, is going to be the major sponsor of that this year. So oh. um, last year, with budget cuts, um, the funding for that was cut out. Yeah. And so Groton Utilities, you know, came to the rescue at the last minute last year and became the major sponsor, and they're sponsoring it again this year. Wow. The, uh, the fireworks are getting to the point where it's so expensive, and there's a lot of people just don't want to spend the money on it anymore. Yeah. And, the, you know, the, the uh, casinos aren't as making the money they used to. Yeah, but, but we're lucky to still have it. Yeah. And, and Sail Fest is a nice, over yeah. in New London is nice. Yeah. And you can take the water taxi to go enjoy it. That's right. <laughs> Get out and go, and go right over into London. That's right. You know, it's it's funny. For all the years Sail Fest was there, I always watched the fireworks from this side, of course, and did this year, too. Um, but this year, I... I I got to go enjoy Sailfest. So the yeah. day after the fireworks, I hopped on the water taxi, went over, and got to see the booths and, and <laughs> you know enjoy the food and everything else, and really got to enjoy Sailfest. Now, where does the fire the water taxi sail out of? So right at the base of Fort Street on Thames Street, there's a little landing called Thames River Landing. Oh, okay. Um, and it's actually the spot where um, the prisoners of war from the Battle of Fort Griswold were taken by the British. Um, and so it's part of the state park, and they, there's a dock there, and that's where uh, the water taxi comes in on the I city see. side. Huh. Well, that's cool. I'll have to take a run over to Groton and take a run. Yeah, of, yeah, <laughs> you should. Trip. You should. Let me know when you're going over. I will get you a tour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to get the warmer weather coming. Yes. <laughs> next, next week is supposed to be 70s. Good. Yeah, get rid of this water out there. It's gone. Well, I, you know, I've watched the years after you've been on the show and everything. I've watched some of the things going on over there in Groton, and you can't, you've been in some battles with the town. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, we have been, um, and and that's uh, that's something I won't miss. Um, <laughs> I think sometimes there's a. Um, I don't want to get too heavy into politics no. here, but I, I think that w what we need to do is we need to work together and start of, instead of trying to be divisive. And we, we really need to recognize that the city brings yeah. something to the table. You know? It does. It does. You know, it brings a lot to the most, table. You know, not, not least of which is Groton Utilities. Yeah. Um, and so we bring a lot to the table. And if we work... And the water. Yeah, the <laughs> water. And, and, you know, we were a major drive behind the water taxi in the Thames River Heritage Park. Um, you know, we're far better when we work together. Yes. And that would that yeah. that would be my prolonged message is to work together rather than trying to, uh, you know, make yeah, us go away. Be the big brother <laughs> of the of the city. I mean, you know, you're all part of Groton, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what you do makes them look good. Yeah, and I'm, vice versa. You know, the the projects that we've worked on together have been so successful. It's really too bad that there's this push at budget time to you know. Yeah. 
make the budget the, the, the thing that divides us. Yeah. You know, we, we've worked together on the USS Groton Sale Foundation, on the Thames River Heritage Park, on the Thames River Innovation Places. There are so many ways that we can work together, and, and we've both brought resources to the table. We both bring the money to the table. We both bring the staff expertise to the table. We yeah. both bring the leadership to the table. And you've got That's all these people. Important. That love to do all the projects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now they go to these things in Washington Park is. Yeah. Oh my. The God. concerts are wonderful there. Uh, yep. You know everything happens there. Now we got they're doing the. Uh, uh, yeah. Meat, uh, vegetables. Oh, the farmers, farmers market. market. Oh, that was so successful last year, and yes, it'll be back this year. Yep. Um, and um, we've actually even changed our uh, food vendor rules to make it a little bit easier to do some of the things yeah. you know last year we had to kind of waive some things but you know we really looked at you know what makes things like that thrive and and yeah. adjusted our ordinances to make that you know yeah. um even more vital i i love the the farmer's market absolutely That's love great. it i was there yeah. every tuesday and bought lots of vegetables couldn't wait for brussels sprout season <laughs> yeah, well, i could <laughs> oh i love brussels sprouts. <laughs> well cindy's coming to our Kappa meeting next month. Good. Give us invite the the authors back again. This year would be more organized. I I only was down there once last year because my it's on a Tuesday, right? Yes. Yeah, my Tuesdays. Tuesdays are kind of from up. three to six. Yeah, because I have lions in the morning. Uh -huh. until, well, until two, and and then on the other and then this fourth, first and third Thursday, it's at night. <laughs> And it starts oh. at six, so there's two days I just can't make it. Yeah, yeah. And no, that uh, that was. Uh, you, you, I'm so <laughs> glad you brought that up because you know another thing. You know, you asked me what some of my accomplishments are that I'm proud of. So you know, I met with Cindy very early on into my first term, and she told me about the health study that Ledgelight had done, which identified the city as what they called a food desert, meaning that uh. there was no produce within. Um, a one mile walking distance of many of uh. the low income housing. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I, the farmer's market is a real success story in that, in that anybody in the city can reach that. Um, and also the mobile food pantry. So um, we got together United, we were the very first place where United Way had their mobile food pantry. Uh. Um, and it's been a success ever since. I mean, I'm, I've, I've may, maybe missed a handful of those mobile food pantries, but you know, we'll get 100 to 140 families come out for food. They comes over and park to you. Uh, yeah. My, I wouldn't stand there. <laughs> so, so, you know, getting those into the city, that, that was something I'm very proud of, yeah. of really tackling that food insecurity and lack of fresh produce issue in the city. Yeah, and that was Gemma's jewel. Oh, yeah. And, and, you know, Gemma's a city resident. and um, She is such a sweet She's so wonderful. She is just so wonderful. Yeah. She's she was, really a hero of mine. Look it up sometime. I think it's on, on the internet, the time I had her on the show. I'll bet she was a riot. Oh, she, <laughs> she is She always lady. makes me laugh. Yes, oh. remarkable and accomplished, and the oh. people she has known and met and worked with and things she's done for, for working families, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, it's that, astounding. What she's done over there in New London is... Just unbelievable. The the number of people that they feed is just astonishing. And she, you know, she's just one of these people who never doesn't say no. No. If she had an idea, she was going to feed families, yeah. and by golly, it was going to happen, and it did. And she got the United Way to back her. Yep. Well, and the union actually the union, first. Yeah. She was she was working well, she, with the union when that came up. She was a big up. union person. Yes, she yeah. was union organizer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that little lady? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Pretty important person. In Massachusetts, person. I think yeah. it was. Yep, she started in Massachusetts. Yeah. She's from Boston, I think. Do you know she had a call from JFK? To I do. She's talking <laughs> that. Yeah. Does she know who he was? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to work for you. <laughs> she's funny. Oh, she's a sweetheart. But anyway, that that's good to you know, be working with them, too. Yeah. And yeah. that is a big truck that goes around. That's the mobile yeah, food pantry. The mobile food pantry, yeah, because we get it over in Park Duck all the time. Yep. And like you say, 100, 150 people out there, and, and yep. oh my word. Yeah. And we don't, people don't realize how bad the economy is here. 
and they make fun of the welfare and the people that are, you know, down and out. Oh, they can get a job. Well, you know what? <laughs> they can't. So, no, and, yeah. and, and, you know, there's, there, and there's all sorts of reasons why. I mean, sometimes it's yeah. because employment's not there, and sometimes it's health issues, and sometimes it's child care. But, you know, the people yeah. I see coming to the food center are good people who need help. Yep. Um, and they've been having to make choices between, you know, one bill and another. And if we can relieve some of the food issue, if we can, if we can give them some produce, because you know produce is often the most expensive thing you're going to yes, buy at is. the store. If you, can, yeah. if we can give them healthy produce yeah. and take that worry out of their economic picture or their financial picture, yeah. then we've relieved them to be able to take care of some of the other responsibilities that are important for living. You know, whether it's fuel and, or whether it's rent. Or, and I know the neighborhood center gives out a book of tickets. And I can't remember what they're called. But they're worth like $15. And they give the tickets to the, to the people, and the people turn in the tickets, and, and it's like cash. And then they go cash it in and get the money back from, mm -hmm. from uh, PNC. So, you know, in a similar program, you know, Washington Park is also where we have Parks and Rec, and, and then we have another Parks and Rec program up at Westside Middle School. And um, I... I mean, all of my administration has been about partnerships. So Ernie Koshmeter, who runs the food service for the Groton Public Schools, yeah. does a summer <coughs> feeding program for kids, <coughs> breakfast and lunch. But he also came up with the idea of, of them giving kids coins, um, you know, just little metal coins um, that could be, you know, give them to kids who are do caught doing something good. You know, give them to yeah. kids who are, and, and those could be turned in for a discount at the f farmer's markets. That's well, a good what idea. What a great idea, you know? Yeah. I know the Denison Farm Market sells a button for $10 or something, and they can purchase 10% off on everything in the, uh, from each one of the vendors. Oh, wow. They show the button. Uh, 10% are off, a dollar off, and you have discounts for these buttons. The market makes some money, and uh, everybody gets discounts. Yeah. So everybody wins. Yeah. yeah. So, but the markets are just such a great thing. They're growing so rapidly, and they're, uh, they have, they got one in Stonington, the Velvet Mill. That'll be coming out at the end of May. That'll be coming down the uh, stocks. I'm looking forward to doing yours again. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the nice things about what Cindy did with that was she looked at not just providing a place or getting the, the farmers, but giving the farmers the support they need to be able to get to market. Because, that, you know, that's a big deal. You know, if you're working a farm, to be out at the farmers markets is tough. Oh, so, yes. you know, maybe you can you get somebody who can intern with you and, and maybe do the selling for you while you're doing other things or, yeah. you know. And that's an important part of it. That's a tough part. Uh, I was involved with the Davis farm, and uh, when Witt was alive, I used to give him a hand, and just on Sunday, but he was just working on Sundays, I think. And uh, but I get down sometimes help him sell the corn, and it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's an awful lot of work. Yeah. It's like the books. You know, you bring your books down the areas. All you see is this little case of books, but you got to put up a tent and table and chairs. Yep. You got to be there an hour early, which means you got to leave your home an hour early. <laughs> and, yep. And so, what looks like a nothing job, it's oh, a lot yeah. of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And making sure you have the right amount and you don't yeah. overdo it, and because you don't want to haul it all back. And no. And the farmers, I've got a lot of work, and by being out there, that means they're not doing anything on their farm. Yeah. And most of them don't have a lot of help. Yeah. It's tough to get help. We've got five minutes already. Can I say just a little bit about the Thames River Heritage Park Please. this summer? So Thames River Heritage Park is going to be back this Well, it's always here. Um, but the water taxi is going to be back this summer. We're uh -huh. going to be starting a Memorial Day. We'll have our regular schedule that goes between um, Fort Trumbull, Fort Griswold, and um, City Pier in New London. Um, this year we're working on some program development, more tours that will be available, some history-based tours, some river tours, some music tours. So we really want you to check into our website. Um, and, you know, when we get to the season, we're adding some apps so people can do some walking tours on their own around okay. and visit some of the historic sites that we're lucky to have. So uh, lots uh. going on with the Thames River Heritage Park, and we hope everybody will visit the website. 
And the other big thing you have is the one down in Burroughs Field down there. But, or is that the town? That, uh, um, you mean the, I think a, that's a the festival? Town. There's a yeah. festival there in October. There's the, um, yeah. the fall festival. The fall festival. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's, right. that's, that's the, the GBA, Croton Business Association, yeah. which covers both town and city, everything and from the big. Mystic River to the that, Thames River. Yeah, and that is huge. <laughs> that is huge. Yeah. That is, I remember the days of the carnivals. I miss those. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, circus down there, the yeah. dirty carnivals. And, oh, I remember that. Yep. That so first long ago. And when I started cleaning that, that lot up, I thought, that's it, no more circus. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I'll tell you, that park is so used. Oh, oh yeah. Proponic Plains, that, that place yeah. hums. That was such a good investment for yeah. the, you know, for the town that really has, you know, been used and used and used. It's just fabulous. It's everything, sports and... Oh, yeah, uh, and that and the playground they have for families and yeah. people walk the track and, you know, it really is used. It is a good investment. It was very good. But the, uh, but I will be there for the farmer's market. Great. And whatever you do, I wish you luck with it. Thank I'm you sure very you much. You don't need luck because of your expertise. You can do anything. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Everything and we get to do is because we support each other, you know? Yeah, and you bring value to wherever you're going. Thank you very much. Thanks. And I'm going to miss you. Thank you very much, Tom. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I think we've still got a couple of minutes, but... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Weather. <coughs> Drive me nuts. Uh... The uh, Pork Duck VFW has still got uh, fish and chips going on until Good Friday. They will have it on Good Friday. And then it's time for uh, Easter. And I uh, you have to look at Facebook see the article I wrote about Easter. Easter in long days past. And uh, any, any shows that we've done here are all on uh, YouTube. And then go to sec-tv.org, and you can watch the shows. And uh, this will be on probably Monday. And this, of course, my show is on tonight at uh, 9 o'clock. But it'll be on YouTube Monday. And uh, send it out to your friends. Let everybody see it. If you got any questions or anything, uh, please email me at santostom uh, at comcast.net. And I'll be more than happy to answer you. Uh, as... You know, we've uh, just did eight weeks of heroin addiction, and uh, I've got a lady coming on to talk about medical marijuana in a couple of weeks. May is coming. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me never get through winter, and May's almost here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, email me, and uh, if you have any questions or anyth anything that you'd like to see, let me know. And in the meantime, you can... Say goodbye to your mayor and how great it's been. Thank you very much. <laughs> My Thanks. pleasure. Uh, spring is here, summer's coming. Cuddle up with a good book, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.